Hello and welcome to our Sports Like Saturday talk here at Human Integrated Performance. Once again, my name is Brad, and today we're going to be talking about focus and concentration. Now, often focus is interchangeable with the word attention, but all three terms, concentration, focus, and attention, have their own definitions. So concentration then refers to the ability to perform with a clear focus or a clear intention, okay? And focus then would be defined as a central point of one's attention. Now, moving on to attention, this is defined as what an individual is observing. What are they paying attention to? Okay, so now we have those three terms defined. And when we put them all together, we can say an individual is properly concentrated when their attention is focused appropriately. Okay, they're, they're focusing on the right things. So that is when a person is, is at optimal concentration. Okay, now concentration, focus, and attention can be broken down into four different categories. We have external versus internal and broad, broad versus narrow. So external focus or attention refers to kind of seeing the big picture. So seeing the playing field you're gonna be playing on, seeing the environment, the weather, uh, could be focusing on the noise from the crowd, those kinds of things. So the bigger picture. Whereas the internal focus is focusing more on our own thoughts, our feelings, our emotions. So what are we thinking? What are, what are we feeling? What's happening within our bodies, okay? So that's the internal versus external. And then we're gonna look at the broad versus narrow. So broad focus or attention refers to kind of seeing uh, the big play happening. So it could be like more focusing on uh, each player on the field, okay? What are they doing? What is the, the, the big scenario that's happening, okay? Looking at that big play, the big picture as well. Now, moving on to the narrow focus, which could be uh, referred to as specific focus as well. This is going to refer to, uh, instead of focusing on the whole team that's on the field, maybe focusing on one individual, or even getting more specific with that. Say you're gonna go make a kick in soccer, you're gonna be focusing on a specific area on that soccer ball. Another example with that could be with golf. So uh, focusing on the golf ball, uh, on a specific logo, a specific uh, marking you made on the golf ball while you're getting ready to make that shot, okay? So that's a specific focus versus the broad focus, which is kind of seeing all the players on the field, seeing what's happening uh, in real time, okay? Now, in sports psychology, the main goal behind working on concentration, focus, and attention is really trying to remove the interferences or distractions. Our work up to the point where we're able to identify when we are becoming distracted and shift our focus back to what's important, okay? Now, this is done in a few different ways. One main thing that we work on here is focusing on the things that are in our control. Because when we get distracted and focused on the things that are out of our control or the uncontrollables, for example, say, uh, as a goalie, I let a, let a goal in and I'm thinking, oh, what's the coach gonna think about that? So that's kind of focusing on the things that are out of our control where uh, if I shift my focus back to things I can control, it's gonna be focusing on making that next save, stopping that next puck, focusing on the play in front of me, uh, getting my head back in the game, so to speak, right? Uh, another thing we can do to help our focus and concentration and, and get our focus back if we're noticing it's distracted is just a quick visual cue. So for example, myself as a goalie in hockey, uh, something I had written on my glove right here was stay focused. And whether I meant to look at it or not, if I glanced and I saw that, it was just a quick check in. Okay, am I focusing on the right things? Am I mentally prepared? Is my attention and concentration uh, where it should be, okay? So a visual cue is very helpful in that just for a quick mental check-in. Another easy reminder or a way to look at uh, concentration, attention, and focus is thinking of it as a flashlight. So if you have a flashlight on your forehead, the light out in front of you is gonna be your focus. So wherever you're focusing, that's where that light is gonna be shining. So going back to the example I just mentioned where, oh, I let that go and what's the coach gonna be thinking? So in that moment, the flashlight's actually turned towards me and I'm inside my own head, right? So uh, just an easy way to create awareness around concentration and focus is just imagine that flashlight. Where is that flashlight? Do a quick check-in with yourself. Is it focusing or shining on the appropriate things that you wanna be concentrating on, okay? And lastly, this is a very important one too, is, is with, with practice, right? So like anything, focus, attention, and concentration and maintaining those requires practice. Now it's very important to try to make practicing happen 
in a, as realistic setting as possible. Okay, so we want to try and make the, the practice that we're doing as real as possible, and with that, we want to try and incorporate distractions. This is going to help us become more comfortable, more aware of when our, our focus is shifting off in the wrong direction, we're getting distracted by certain things, and allow us to check in with ourselves, shift our focus and concentration to where it's supposed to be. Okay, so that's the main concept behind concentration, focus, and attention in sports psychology. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you enjoyed this. And once again, if you have any questions or you want some more information about the services we provide, uh, the work we do with athletes around uh, sports psychology, concentration and focus and attention, uh, check us out online at humanintegratedperformance.com or feel free to get in touch with us at the clinic here at 780-862-3111. All right, we'll catch you next weekend for the, the next video of Sports Like Saturday. Until then, have a good one. We'll catch you later.